Good morning, Chance Panthers. Today is Monday, March 29th, 2021. I am CC, and welcome to WCES, Chair's Elementary School's official news source. Today's delicious lunch menu includes a homestyle chicken sandwich, veggie juice, corn, and an assorted fruit. Have you gotten the chance to check out what's hatching in the media center? Can you guess if it's a chick or a bunny? I know what I think. I think it's a chick. Our flag holder today is from Miss Reese's class. Please stand respectfully for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to a public which stands one nation under God and invisible liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Cheers Panthers. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. I have surely been missing you guys. Can't wait to come around and see you on campus. Today I have one birthday and that is Liam Weeks. Liam, have an amazing birthday. I hope you celebrated all weekend long. See you all on campus. Eleanor Roosevelt was born in 1884 and died in 1962. She was born in New York. Eleanor Roosevelt was the largest serving First Lady of the United States. Her husband Franklin Delano Roosevelt was president from 1933 to 1945. While First Lady and even afterward, Eleanor was politically and socially active. She was especially outspoken in support of human rights, including the silver, 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 silver. Civil rights of African Americans, well, African Americans, women in the workplace, and war refuges. She was one of the most widely respected women in, in the world. Fun fact: Eleanor was the niece of a President Theodore Roosevelt and the distant cousin of her husband Franklin. Thank you for turn, tuning in to WCES. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow with Proud Panther Pie. Remember Panthers, dream big and aim high. Pencil. A Story with a Point by Ann Ingalls and Dean Griffiths. Pencil and Jackson were best friends. They went everywhere together. They scribbled and sketched they played mustache, airplane, and parade. They had loads of fun until... Tablet moved in. Jackson was captivated by Tablet. Can you make movies? Tablet asked Pencil. Can you draw in color? Can you message Grandma in South Dakota? Hmm? Pencil had been number one. Now he felt like number two. One day, when Jackson was playing with Tablet, he dropped Pencil on the floor. Bernie picked him up and nearly chewed him to bits. Pencil was covered with teeth marks and drool. And then it happened, the final disgrace. Jackson tossed Pencil into the junk drawer. It looked like Pencil would live out his life with a jumble of junk, lost and forgotten. Everything in that drawer was blunt or broken. 
Pencil couldn't see any point in going on. You don't measure up, said Ruler. Move over, snipped Scissors. Pencil nearly lost his grip. Every time someone opened the drawer, Pencil pushed his way to the top, hoping he'd be chosen. Then, one day, it happened. Jasmine opened the drawer. I wonder if there is a rubber band in here. Hey, I could use that old pencil. Pencil was free at last. Pencil traveled everywhere on Jasmine's head. Once in a while, Pencil and Jasmine sat with Tablet. Tablet, can't we just get along? asked Pencil. Get lost, you're not my type, said Tablet. The very next day, Smash! Bernie knocked Tablet on the floor. No more videos, no more games, no more movies. A tear rolled down Jackson's cheek. Pencil was stumped. What can I do? He went back to the junk drawer for help. He tried on pencil toppers with fuzzy hair, with glitz, with springs, with googly eyes. Nothing worked. A pencil with an eraser on each end is just pointless. But pencil was sharp. Pencil showed Jackson all the other cool things he could do. He could be a bookmark. He could be a back scratcher. He could be a tent pole for a really small tent. None of this worked either. Then Pencil had a new idea. He went back to the junk drawer to see if sticky notes would help. Pencil sketched his idea. He'll get a real charge out of that, said Battery. I'd be delighted to help, said Flashlight. Before long, everyone pitched in. Pencil and his friends began to create a fancy flip book. Happy to hold things together, said Paperclip and Tape. Jackson picked up pencil and began to draw. You're a cut above the rest, said Scissors. Our friendship is permanent, said Marker. What would I do without all of you, asked Pencil. We stick together, said Glue. I'll be drawing on your friendship, said Pencil. And after all, that really is the point. <laughs>